I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't like. Yo, what's going on, guys? Nick here. We're uh, playing some more Red Dead today. Of course, of course. We got to get through the Red Dead game. Uh, hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, we got a, we got a lot of business to go through. We just started chapter three. We done uh, one mission so far on it, I think. Um, so far, what I've gathered, my plan right now is we're gonna see. Last time I tried to go to like the fence to try to sell valuables, it wasn't working. We're gonna try again. If it doesn't work, we're just gonna continue on to the mission over there. All right. So that's our plan right now. So um, we're gonna ride on over there. Um, but yeah, so far this game. I'm telling you right now, the the story, the the writing and everything in this game is phenomenal. So I've been really enjoying that. It's got a lot of good comedy to it. All right, Arthur is a great character. Um, the world design is amazing, and I mean this game was released like what, five six years ago. So. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say it's pretty damn good. So, if there's any other games that you think are like, you're one of your top games or whatever, let me know what you think that game is for you. But I would definitely put uh, Red Dead up there. I don't know if I would say it's like number one. I don't know. I, I can't really, I'm not good at picking like number one. Like this is my all time number one. It's hard to say. But I definitely got a, a few games that are up there. Alright, let's go see. Do we got to go inside this house or... Is he inside or around back? He ain't inside. Is it around back? Is it one of these people around here? Oh, it's Welcome. right here. Oh. You just discovered my little shop here. Oh. Okay, sell. Sure. It's working. Let me see. Oh my god, look at all the valuables we have. Ooh. Okay, should we sell it all? Good then. Oh. Six dollars. One dollar. We can't even pick up any more of these. We're carrying Not the max. Bad, this. Oh my god, we're gonna make so much money here. Do we just sell everything in here? Is it hell you really wanna get rid of this? Uh oh, did I just sell something I shouldn't have? ground coffee. See I shouldn't sell that, but that's invaluables. Platinum pocket watch. Get rid of those. Do I need to keep these? Let's get rid of them. See, those are like consumables right there. Gold. Oh my gosh. $300? Thanks for your help. Oh my god, we just made some money. That's what I've been needing this entire time. God damn. You can buy everything. I don't think I should be going around with this much money on me. <laughs> Is there a bank? No, we should um we should go pay off some bounties, I think, right? So we don't have to hide so much. I think that gold bar is from a mission we did with Micah, right? And he's the one that kind of caused some of these bounties, so. Well, I don't know what the price of some of them are. The one around here is 50. I'm curious what the, um, the other ones are. Oh, gracious. Hello again. Uh, pay bounty. Oh, my. That's not too bad. Are a bad person. You are a bad person. Bye. Yes, sir. I've been a bad boy. <laughs> all right. All our bounties are paid okay. off. The only thing that I can't do is the... Um... Oh, no. The one in Valentine's gone. Oh, shit. I thought that was part of, like, the story or Boy. whatever. We're at $569. Or so. so we still got a lot of money going on. Um, oops. But yeah, we're gonna go on over and start up this mission and continue on with the story. 
Hopefully I'm not missing out on too many other things. Like, should I be doing side missions right now? I don't know. Should I be doing other things? Making more money? I know there's something to do. Can't you upgrade weapons or, or something? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. Look at this. We're pulling up on like... Um, don't use any weapons. We're pulling up on like some big farm here. What do you want? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Gallagher. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with oh, you folks on the property. Put the gun down, please. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. All right, we gotta ask around. Finally, put his weapon down. We'll pull up to the house. You coming in or what? Are you coming in or what? Did you not see me ride past you, man? Jesus. Um, stay. Stay. We'll ask this person. Hello. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's oh, got okay. all the time in the world. This guy's kind of just sweeping the same spot over and over again. Nothing's happening. I think you need to change your broom. I don't think it works very well. <laughs> Look at this, though. They got, like, a whole village here. Got a big, uh, big house. All right, let's see. Hello? Knock, knock. Is that him there? Oh, no, maybe he's he's right here. see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not <laughs> yet but he is hoping i guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful yankees about the place is there what are you doing here i was just looking for work well, looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. <laughs> Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge <laughs> Arthur's of the like, money? <laughs> yeah. You take her this letter. I'll do anything for some money. Bracelet, please. <laughs> All right. Oh, Let's sneak into the... Oh, no, we got to sneak. Oh, no. All right, let's do this. Just run, right? That's how you do it? How far are we gotta go? Oh, we need our horse. Okay, I get it. I was gonna say, we gotta... Just walking right through them, them hedges. God damn. Alright, let's go. 
We gotta do a little bit of some stealth. If y'all know me, I'm the greatest man uh, ever to do some stealth. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No weapons, no weapons. We're hiding. Don't you know, boy? Oh, God. This horse is great. It's a big horse. Alright, when do we gotta start being stealthy? That wasn't me. I didn't do no breaking of anything. Oh, we got a stealth into that big house. Oh my. All right, we'll park the horse out by the uh, the bushes here. All right. Use the bushes and stuff. We'll go around this way. Steer wide. I like that it's nice and foggy. This is gonna help me out a little bit. Okay, there's a guy over there. Where do I gotta go? Is there anybody at the house? Can we sneak past this guy right now? Get around the wall. I don't know how I just got... <laughs> I don't know how I got through there and then nobody hearing me. Alrighty then. Alright, there's somebody there at the, uh... The water. We'll go around him wide. What? What? Intruder on the property? Oh no. They know I'm here. Oh no. Can I just walk up to her? Hello? I'm here. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter. It's not very alarmed. Oh. Hello? And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever yeah. been to Ohio, sir? <laughs> no. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, no. not really. Well, they tolerate him no because family. of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, <laughs> maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I'm just messenger boy here. All right, we got to sneak back out of here. Oh, no. I think we'll go right wide around this way. Do some swimming. Sorry about your letter. It's going to get a little wet. Ugh. I'm going to do some swimming here. Should be able to get around this way. Oh, there's a guy there. I 
All right, here we go. Should be able to just run straight to this field. Call my horsey. Did it hear that whistle at all? <laughs> oh, I hear it. There he is. Here, boy. All right, we're out of here. Boom. All right, I, I need to see why I didn't get gold. Hold on. Hold on. Reach Penelope without getting spotted. I got spotted? Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, we may as well go right back up to Bo and bring him this letter. Let's go. The fog and everything, though, is so good. I love it. I need to get the bonding level increased on this horse again. Well, not again, but on this new horse. Um, I can't do my moon like maneuvers and everything like I could on the other ones. Hmm. The best way to do that is like by feeding and, and brushing, well, like grooming yeah. and stuff. So we'll go back down to this, uh, this little farm. Should be able to find Bo. Are they gonna shoot me? for the grays now all right come on <laughs> all right yeah yeah <laughs> okay what is the inside must be inside Hello. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God, what a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. <laughs> Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. <laughs> I don't want no part of this. I'm paying. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. We'll Bonding increase. And take the road to town. Now we can do our skidding. Yeah. True love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Oh, there. boy. There they are. 
Something gonna Ooh, happen here. What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? We must begin. Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Oh. Miss Calhoun. Oh, boy. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one. I think Arthur's a little out of place right now. Is a pure one. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is great, though. I love it. We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. The suffrage, the suffrage, our folk will love us too. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, oh boy. are you an old friend of the movement? Oh, no. Just a driver, Mrs. They're not going to be too happy. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Wow. Okay. This map is fine, sir. Ladies, get down! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Oh my God! We're getting a little We're getting a little riled up here. Oh boy! Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today. Is the day we begin to live as equal. Equal! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Ah. Oh. Oh. His philosophy hey. dependent Shh. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this. Uh oh. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. It stopped them from ruining the speech. You need to learn your Imagine though what, what we come from back in these days to what we are at today. Oh, you always will. Bo, weren't we just leaving? And we're still fighting. Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. We as a collective hit me? for equality. Sir, it's crazy. See how idiotic you are. Come on, Bo. Let's go. All right, we're getting out of here. And they're following us. Oh, shit. 
We gotta go before they think twice. All right, let's go. Oh Lord, follow me. Hurry, I know a place. hurry up. It's an old battlefield. No one goes to. Why are we going there then? Nobody goes there. Where did those guys go? I want to go back and hear the speeches. I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of 10 minutes. <laughs> sooner it's out, sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? This must I be it here. It's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Counting a note. Really is a businessman. I love it. 30 bucks. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. All righty then. Well, that was that. Um, Dutch is in town. Molly. Mr. Pearson. The Mr. Pearson one I think has been around for the longest. I think I want to go do that one first, uh, to be honest. Strauss needs to speak to us as well. Uh, so we should think about doing that. But, um, but yeah. All right, I'm going to head my way on over to the camp. So I'll see you guys when I make it there, all right? All righty, let's go on over to Mr. Pearson. Let's... Uh, Let's get this started here. Which one is Pearson? I can't. Is it this oh, butcher guy? Say whatever you damn well please, what? but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. You put that knife down, oh, and you're gonna be missing a hand. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. <laughs> Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <laughs> I'm gonna use that line. Oh, that's great. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! <laughs> well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? All right, run some Come errands. On. Come on, princess. <laughs> are you coming with me then, woman? 
Well, I'm sorry. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> oh, shit. That was amazing. Yeah. All right, this is going to be an interesting journey here. Let's see what uh, Arthur has to say. <laughs> you cool down then yet? I guess. Well, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all got to do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Yeah. Mm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some man. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? <laughs> oh, We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper Whoa. while you... No! Are you insane? What the f... I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. <laughs> we rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just Jesus Christ. Right. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. You better keep that gun in her pockets. God damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Th first thing she does, pull out a freaking revolver. Oh my God. Oh shit. Yeah, send him some mail. Like to post a letter. All right. Thank okay. you, sir. No trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Good morning. Do I want to walk back to this Hello wagon? There. Howdy. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh. I'm trying. What the hell? <laughs> Alrighty. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Was she just well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Oh Come shit. On, oh lady. no. Get a move on. I'm She's like driving. Sadie, not lady. I know. <laughs> yeah. So you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Did she get the clothes from the you grocery store? Now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. Hmm. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, you know. 
Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just item request. Equal and no. Let me take a look at this. Hold on. Sadie's asked for a harmonica. Find Sadie a harmon a harmonica. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever. Where am I gonna find one of them? Mm -hmm. Do they sell them? Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Oh. Hey. What uh? Uh oh. What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Mm. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh really? Oh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah, that's right. I don't How about think you so. you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hi. Hey, how's about this? Oh, oh shit. Go, go, go. Shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Go. Ah! Guy back here. Nope. Where's this guy? Oh. Lady, you are enjoying this far too much. I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. All right, I'll drop it back. This guy's going down. Run like a little fool. God damn. Hold on. We got to do some looting around here there, what Sadie. What are you doing? No. We should get out of here. All right. I suppose so. No. Pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. <laughs> I'm fine. Idiot. We showed those bastards. No, Arthur knows how to ride. These guys are just... Side. <laughs> he's putting us that whole thing. Good, good. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on farming here. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going. Bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. <laughs> if he asks. But maybe not. Hey, watch it. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Graders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway. Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mike. All right. All right, how do I... Oh, I can't pull up my gun in the camp. I'm going to go back out here for a second. We need to, like, clean our gun or something here. There we go. No, still can't. I don't think we can until we, like, really get out. Here we go. Okay, how was it that... Oh, here we go. I think I figured it out. Uh, we can't clean. Uh, do I not have the stuff to be able to clean it or what? That might be a thing, right? You might need to get, like, gun oil. So we're gonna have to stop by the store or something. 
All right, well, we'll go, uh, we'll go do this next mission anyway. We still got revolvers, and we should have stuff on our Guess horse, I think. Okay. We should have some more stuff. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I Dutch is Dutch. I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be <laughs> like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information, but it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going on a big trip. We got the gang. This way. Well, not the Smart gang, but a gang. <laughs> we don't How make do. Get wind of this old man. We only been down here all five minutes. <laughs> While well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. Oh, finding the nearest grog house. He has been hey, getting down to business. You know, on this Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it? You scope Whoa. here exactly. Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passing through it. every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Well, this is pretty Soon close to camp. Soon. Christ's sakes. He hasn't been doing be that doing much work. Now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There's the wagon. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Yeehaw. Hey boys, that's right. We'll keep those hands in the air. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh great! So you Freaking know, Cornwall. <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. All right, let's take a look. What we got in here? Oh, another box inside of a box. Boxes and boxes. We got some money. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Look at that, fat stacks. Hey, uh oh. Think I say something. Oh great. Let's oh, go. Shit. Arthur, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have a pursuit. Oh, there's, oh my God! Look how many of them. Oh shit. Oh, you can you see the look back? Okay. Here we gotta go. There's a whole lot of them back there. Right, fellers. Come on. You're getting away. That's right. We're getting away. 
Nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How that I know? Come on, Arthur. You wait, you sons of bitches. You're going to call me the biggest day. Light us up, boys. Get rid of these sons of bitches. Oh, I think that was a that wasn't a let's guy I was go, supposed to let's shoot. Go. Good plan, good plan. Slow it down. Go on. Get out of here. Get off the horse. Shoo. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. Alright. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. Ugh. Get some rest, freaking. It's like full sun. <laughs> All right. Poor Let's Charles. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Oh, boy. The house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? But, but... Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while Oh, ago. my. It ain't me. It better not be. Oh, boy. This isn't good. Right. They're gonna come check the barn. Forth. Lo, go check out the... I mean, come on, look at this barn. There's nothing to it. Come on now. Oh, shit. I can't look too far. I can't see where everybody else is. Oh, boy. Here they come. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. <laughs> don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit. Uh oh. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here. Fellas. Come on, man. He had. I can't see anything. Watch, Charles. More on the right here. Where are they? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. God damn, my aim. They teach you that move in the army too. Is this gonna work? All right. Oh, that's my, that's my shotgun. You got us into this. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. This tower really don't like it raw. Damn, that's a headshot. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. Somebody shoot from in here. Stop 
robbing Cornwall for a while. Now, I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall, <laughs> all right? Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. We got more? We got a fire inside here. Yo, where'd they get so many guys from, though? Hold them back. I kind of like that. It's kind of neat, though. Let them close in on us. We're gonna have to get out of this barn. Move, Bill. We can't jump out. Come on, man. Let's go. I missed. I missed the dead eye. Come on, Arthur. A guy anywhere? Nope. Okay, we just used up all that dead eye. Come on. Oh shit. That one almost hit you. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Oh my god, it's eerie. The fog. I'm gonna have something that increases my dead eye here. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. I can't run. There we go. Anything dumb, Williamson? You're on your own. Oh, shut the hell. Wait, how come? Oh, I gotta stay with this guy. We split up. Stay with me for Christ's sakes. Keep it down. <laughs> Quick, behind these rocks. <sighs> it actually makes it so hard to see. Oh my gosh. It's actually really cool. Rock, man. <laughs> I hate stealthiness in games for that specific reason. Bastard. God damn. What? Oh. Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stay in there. Why don't you make it? You came up behind him. How did you screw up? <laughs> oh, this is. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Clearly, oh. those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. What? What the? Oh my god. Make your face. You're dead. Shit. Oh my god, that was a nice shot. We all still alive? Yeah. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, money? We spent just about that here. much in Never ammo. Split up. Go on. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. <laughs> I don't know if that was worth $112 for me. <laughs> I don't know. It was a lot of fun, though. I, I had good fun shooting. I always uh, love getting into a, a shootout. It's great. Right, I think we should go see Dutch, though, for sure. Should definitely go on over the Dutch there. But, uh, but yeah.
Like, look at the fogginess and everything. I still, I don't understand how, um... How those guys didn't see as I came by. <laughs> uh. What the? What is my horse doing? Can I not go in here? I can't go in the roads. What? Okay, I can. It was like... I don't know what the hell is going on. Sometimes it does... I don't know. I can't control my horse very well. I don't know. Weird. We'll see what Dutch wants. I don't know. It's kind of late. Do we have to wait till morning or something first, or or should we do this little mission here? The one with the question mark. Nah. If we do the Dutch mission, it should advance the time automatically. Yeah. I guess we'll we'll hitch it here. Let's go see what's going on here. Of course, of course. Oh. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> he is so hammered. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. <laughs> Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temper is moving. <laughs> <laughs> Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, oh, you ride so with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. <laughs> Climb on up. Let's go. All right. Let's go. We're doing a deputy mission. I'm going to call Our it after small. this mission, I, I think. Well, it depends on how long it is. It's a short one. We'll do another one. You know, how but. are you? Oh. Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. I love how my oh, horse well, is falling behind. But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. 
We rounded up the others soon after. Look at the atmosphere with the sun the coming up. Myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold, these families. I thought we were just gold. bullshitting now. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't Look know at them for bridge, sure though. if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. Oh, snap. See that wagon? Oh, dang. What is happening here? What do we got on our hands? Someone had a bad day. You could try washing once in a while. Oh, look at this. Some food. Keep your eyes open. I got a body. Is this not important? No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. What are we looking at? Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Mm. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. <laughs> I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. I love that. Yeah, we'll just send somebody later. It's all good. Nowadays, it's like... Shit needs to be dealt with right away. Which, fair enough. Alright, let's go. There's nothing more we can do here. Business, the really? Lawman, I'm trying... Appear so. I'm just glad we there we go. Archibald Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. All right, we'll be going quick though. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lamont State. Legends. I like this covered bridge here. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Hey, slow it down a bit. Oh come go on. Right the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. <laughs> now, I was saying, that's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Wow. God damn. All right, how far are we going? Are we almost there? Right here, okay. All right, slow it down a little bit. Slow it up. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find, oh, sorry. We bring in a lot. I'm a chronic yawner. My apologies. 
then take this operation <laughs> down for good. Come on. All right, here we go. Let's see what we're dealing with. There's a guy sitting there. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, oh my. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. <laughs> for real. You boys want right He's got something left. going on. He's going on about stupid stories. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax All right, let's go. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's I don't know how to get them alive. The Got it. Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? I don't know how to get them alive, if I'm going to be honest. I don't know what the button for knocking out is and stuff. It doesn't tell me. Take down. I'll tie this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Okay. Because to me, when it says take down, that sounds like kill them. Take down. I don't know. I almost feel like they used the same word in like, was it a burnout game or something that I played in the in the past? Take down. Though I guess that was just getting them, getting the car out of commission. But it's killing the car. So, you know, I don't know. Is my run really going to be faster than his walk and my walk is going to be slower than his walk? Like, come on, man. Good work, gentlemen. All right, we got him. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Ooh, explosives. Oh, so you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that. Is the last time I'll mention it. I swear. All right, let's go. Plant dynamite in the distillery. Throwables. Right here. Alright. Place the dynamite down. We gotta just put down a bunch of this stuff. Stand clear and blow the dynamite. Stand clear. Shouldn't we ignite it from the ground here? Yeah, we should totally ignite it here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Please tell me. That belongs to the Lauren Raider. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fine, Bill. Oh no, we gotta get Bill. Oh shit, I'm running away. Oh shit. Come on. Come on, boy. We're coming.
God damn. More of them suckers? Oh, shit. Man, he was trying to sneak up behind me. No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Alright. Fine by me. Should at least walk over some of these guys and pick up some ammo. feel being a fine upholder of the law not that different to our normal lives so far who were those fellas not sure probably the people they were selling to guess we can't ask him now uh oh i was gonna say where's dutch well done <laughs> well forgive me but me and my men must return to our lives Ah, Damn, look at all of them. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part <laughs> of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. God damn it. Always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You nice. Me. Okay. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp off? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? We're gonna have a party. From what they was yelling, I think they Look were out. the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Oh, really? All right, we'll go. Okay. Let's race. That's the spirit. Hold on. Hold on. We got a... There we go. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. I thought I injected something that gives us full stamina. Maybe it's not going down as quick. I don't know. Oh shit. Dutch, you're gonna get left in the dust. Come on. Come on, George. Kick it. My horse is like twice the size of that thing. <laughs> Oh, come on. You heard of a shortcut? <laughs> That's right, Dutch. Yep. yep. I love the music with it. Get him back there. 
Look at these guys. Yeehaw! We're coming into camp. I don't know. I've got quite a lead. Oh yeah. I don't know Dutch, I don't know about you, but uh, I think I won that race. <laughs> I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. God damn. All right. I would say that's a pretty good one to end it off on. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, that was that was a great mission. We've been doing a lot of shooting in the last little bit here. We're shooting up a storm. I think it's great. I love it. Getting good use of the uh, the dead eye as well. We're going to have to upgrade our weapons and stuff. And all that good stuff. Hopefully we can do something to hold more like ammo or something. I don't know. We're going to see. I, I can't remember what the weapons are like in this. But, uh, but yeah, I've been having a blast. It's been a good time. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll... Uh, I'll see what comes in in the next chapters, right? I think there's six chapters. I think there's six. I could be wrong. But uh, still lots of Red Dead left to go. We're not even halfway. Actually, let's go take a look at the progress. There's a there's even a progress thing. 28%. So we're like a quarter of the way through the game. The, uh, the story's still got a lot to go. And I love the writing so far. It's been really good. Nothing. Micah. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I, don't I think know. I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. <laughs> all right, anyhow, I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace.